In this video, I'm going to talk about what it takes to come up with a super invention idea. A lot of you guys have ideas for inventions, but you really haven't thought it through. And I'm here to help you figure out what you need to do to get that idea out of your head and turn that product into a reality. Because that's what separates the men from the boys or the mere mortals from the superheroes. Having an idea isn't going to get you anywhere. Nobody's going to pay you for your idea. Your idea has no value. We've talked about this a million times. The only thing that has value is the way you implement your invention or your product idea. So let's get started talking about how you're going to do that. I'll take it for granted that your idea is a good one. Like I always say, there are no good ideas, there are no bad ideas. There's only the ideas that we implement and turn into a reality. The hard fact of the matter is you'll find out whether it was a good idea or a bad idea when people start buying your product. Or unfortunately, sometimes they don't buy your product and then you find out it was a bad idea. That's just the way life goes and that is part of being an inventor. You have to suffer the failures along with the reward. So you have an idea for an invention. We've talked about this a million times. You should know what you're gonna do next. So if you like what you've been learning so far in this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and give me a few comments below. If you just have an idea, you have nothing to offer anybody. So as we talked about before, you have an idea, the first step is, I'm sorry to say, you're gonna have to get out there and start building a prototype. That's right, you're gonna have to start doing some work. If it's an electronic product, there's plenty of videos on YouTube right now to teach you how to do design. I've been making a couple of them. You see all the electronic stuff around here all the time. So you know that that's something that you can also do in your house, on the computer. We've talked about that before. It's not that hard to do. Or maybe your product's a physical one and you need access to some design software and then a 3D printer. Well, their 3D printers are everywhere. You can even go use them at the local library. Lots of schools have them. They're everywhere. You can also take your files, upload them to the internet, and they'll send you the printed out product in the mail. So you have no excuse for building your prototype. You can be a superhero. You just have to get started and start building something now. Hey, come a little closer. Come in, a little closer. You know what? Don't believe a word this guy is saying. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. And what really makes a superhero inventor? It's the person that solves a problem and does it by inventing a product that people are willing to buy. So let's say your product doesn't solve a problem. Well, Steve Jobs always said, the customer doesn't know what they want until you make it for them. So solving a problem doesn't necessarily have to be part of your invention idea. I talked about this before. You need to also think about niche markets, markets that you see on the internet that aren't being served. If you see something that people are talking about that's trending on YouTube, trending on Google, and it's a product that you can build to fill that trending topic, that's an excellent opportunity for you to be able to come up with something and sell it, especially start selling it online. Because again, that's what we want to do. We want to think about our inventions and selling them online to start with. Forget about the big box companies. Forget about using distributors. Your first step is building your prototype, figuring out how to manufacture it, and then starting a website to sell it online. That's it. Then we're gonna to move to eBay and Amazon. And then we're gonna take it from there and do resellers and all the other things we've talked about in previous videos. There's dozens and dozens of videos here on Invention Therapy to talk about this stuff. So I'm not gonna go into it again. If you really wanna know how to get started in building your product, just look through all the videos. I talk about it over and over again, probably to the point where some of my subscribers are really starting to get bored with it. I'm sorry about that, but this is the way I believe in doing things. I believe in giving a little bit of information at a time and then making sure that you understand it so that as you get through the process, you grow and grow little by little. It's all about taking small steps, but then achieving what your dream is. And that dream should be turning your invention idea into a viable product that you can sell. Richard out.